All right, hello, my name is Mike Selecki and I am the band director for Portland Public Schools. Um, Portland, Michigan is just a little bit west of Grand Ledge, Michigan, if you've ever heard of that. It's a little bit east of Ionia, Michigan, if you've ever heard of that. Uh, we're roughly halfway between Lansing and Grand Rapids. I feel the need to explain that because it's kind of a small town, but as soon as I say that, everyone says, oh, I saw the sign that said two miles to Portland. I'm like, yeah, that's us. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of screen sharing and talk about myself and see how that goes. I totally just did this mi this video like five minutes ago and it didn't work technology wise. So here we go again. Um, this is my old Weebly website. Just keeping it around for nostalgia's sake. Um, Portland Public Schools. I really like this picture. This is me at the Union Cabaret and Grill in Kalamazoo, Michigan. That is their jazz club over there, and I would spend way too much there in college. So you're kind of getting a hint, since it's Kalamazoo, that I went to Western, and you are absolutely right. I went to Western Michigan University and graduated with honors in December of 2014. And I am very close to finishing my Master's of Music and Education at University of Michigan. I did their summer program for three years, so I finished all the classes. I'm just working on finalizing my thesis. Um, I am doing a 90-minute presentation called How to Start a Jazz Program in 20 Minutes a Day or Less, because I see the high school jazz band for 20 minutes a day, uh, currently, hopefully more in the future. But it's just kind of diving into ways to recruit new students, how to evaluate improvisation, which is a really, really dense um, area because no two people agree on how to evaluate someone who's just expressing themselves through improvisation. But uh, that's really interesting to look into. And then basically the history of jazz in the school setting and why it's important to study it. Um, biography, I'm from Dearborn, Michigan on the west edge of Detroit. Uh, I went to Dearborn High School and I studied with these fantastic people on my instruments. My primary instrument is trumpet and my secondary instrument is double bass slash electric bass. Um, I figured I'd play some high notes and some low notes at the same time, so that's how that went. Um, oh, what am I doing? I'm trying to go to the wrong website. This is my mission statement. And I actually also have this on my school music program website. Uh, performance, I've played with all of all actually I play a whole bunch of different instruments technically everything except for cello um, I've played all these and all those things and there's some really cool experiences there but I could talk about that for way too long I have trumpet stuff under my page that says trumpet stuff um, so these are famous solos by famous trumpet players that I've transcribed and written down for myself to use as a reference if I want to play some of their stuff or if students want to use that as a reference uh, to play some of their stuff. It's a really good exercise to work on writing down what you hear. It is not easy by any means, but it's a really good thing to do for musicians. Um, this is, let me go to the main page. This is the Portland Music Program website. So if these two fantastic people are brand new um, to the program. I was the band and choir director for Portland Public Schools for the past three years. And two years before that, I did K-12 music in Newberry, Michigan, which is kind of roughly halfway between Munising, where they have the pictured rocks, and Sault Ste. Marie um, on the American side. Um, and that is a very large by land area district. Uh, some students ride the bus, no joke, two hours to and two hours from school every day. So if you get a student that doesn't have the best uh, home life or their parents aren't there very often because they're working very hard. They know their bus drivers more than their own family sometimes, which was really a sad realization when I uh, heard about that. Um, I have all of my music policies that I wrote down here. Nothing too exciting, all that good stuff. Um, the media page is really cool. These are audio recordings and video recordings of pretty much everything that we've ever done. And I have a bunch of floppies and reel-to-reels and VHSs and CDs of old recordings that I'm currently trying to put on here. So it's a really, really cool um, 
place if you're ever curious about what kind of music we make at our school. Um, I'm going to stop the screen sharing and keep talking. Uh, when I started teaching K-12 music in Newberry at Taquamanon area schools, right by the um, Taquamanon Falls, the orange ones, um, it was a really, really, really steep learning curve because I hadn't focused on elementary too much. I had a lot of trouble getting them to read music. Um, I didn't focus too much on reading English because that was what their classroom teachers focused on. Um, but a lot of the processes are very similar. So that's something that I really wanted to kind of dive into and draw parallels between. Um, I had a few students who, like I kind of mentioned before, had a not so good home life. Uh, there were a lot of really not well off families up there. And so finding ways to motivate those students to get out of bed in the morning, honestly, let alone read and make music at a high level. Um, that was a challenge, but that really made me stronger as a teacher, I think. Um, one of the main things I want to get out of this class is helping younger people learn how to read and find the joy of reading. Um, because there's a lot of little kids in my family. My sister has two kids um, and there's a lot of little kids running around. So I want to just be able to sit down and read with them and kind of give them a little jump start on their school year, especially this school year, because everyone's already behind. Um, but yeah, just helping out the little kids that I know and um, the K-12 aspect. And this is my first year doing fifth grade band. Usually I do sixth through 12th grade and we start band in sixth grade. We are starting this year in fifth grade. So that's gonna be really, really cool. But I really wanna try to get some insights into how to relate all the stuff we're doing here into reading music and also get that certification. So that'd be good. All right, thank you so much. I will see you folks in class. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.